Yo Rana, and welcome to FM Tahiti. I hope you're all doing well. I've come back for some League games rather than OCL, um, because the title race apparently is hotting up according to the news article. So, 23 games, we're top with, by two points. It's not a huge gap. The Sky Brights on 44, then Moto 1 and Taha on 41. We'll talk about Taha in a second because they're important. Um, and then Bora Bora, 38, Tetera on 35. So chance as well and Moria could all be involved <coughs> sorry if things go particularly well or badly for certain teams so it's quite um, quite a close run uh, title at this point, I mean the next few games will make a big difference so I've got a match against Bora Bora next who are in 5th so I thought I'd play that one and then I've got a match against Manue who are near the bottom so less important because it's Bora Bora Thought I would play that one, and then schedule-wise, I've got a qu early quarterfinal against Taha, so we've been drawn against them. I'll show you the draw in a second, and then we've got them in the league, and Taha again are in that title race. So probably do an episode of Bora Bora Manue, and then an episode of Taha and Taha Athletic, and then you notice Ace Chance and Moria, other sides that are also in this um, title race, will be like the last league episodes, and how well we do against Taha in the early league will also then. Um, sort of determine what other episodes we've got going on because we've got we've been drawn against Taha, you know, Solomon against Sports, Auckland against PS, and Nadi against Wellington. But we've already found out what the semi final draw is. So the winner of us and Taha will play the winners of Solomon and Sport. So in theory, whoever wins between us and Taha in that quarter final could get an easier ride into the final. We'll avoid a team from New Zealand all the way until the end, if we can get past Taha. So that episode's going to be really important, but till then, we're going to play the teams we've got in front of us, so Bora Bora next. So Luke McCormick, the pick of our golden generation, um, and I'm only quoting the head of youth development, I don't believe it is a golden generation, he's going to make a start, because I just want to see what he's like. He looks good enough to make a start. I can rest Weaver for a match. Um, Phil Lamb is injured with a sports hernia, which sounds painful. So I've got Stuart Sova coming in for left back, who's very young and untested relatively. He's only played a few games here and there. Um, Richards was also injured. So I've got um, Dillowin starting. Jared's up and up. Scoring nice and easily with McCormack with the assist already having an impact. Maybe this is where I'm going to go and apologise to uh, my head of youth development. It's alright, delivery. I think Gerard did most of the work there once the ball was in. we got Pons back from injury on the bench. Chance back from injury as well. So last match, um, it was actually off camera, I played against Papite and we won 1-0. I had to rest a couple of players because we were absolutely knackered. Go on, Delowin. Oh, good finish. I mean, Delowin was unlucky that he got kind of dispossessed there, but he was driving forwards quite nicely. He's not done as well as I'd want to. He's had some flashes of being good, but then Richards kind of took over again, and Dalloway went back to being a kind of bench option. And then now Richards is injured, Dalloway's got an opportunity to play, and he's kind of getting into it a bit. So I need to kind of rotate them around a little bit more, I think. Give him a bit more of an opportunity. I've also got rid of a keeper on my bench, so Bothwell, the keeper, was on the bench. Uh, got rid of him, because I've got more players I want. Oh, there we go, That's not bad. 3-0 in just over 15 minutes. Yanin, Gerard. Scoring the goals. So Yanin's potentially on for his hat-trick already. He had to take the keeper because I wanted to fit in another midfielder. I wanted Andre on, so I had more options. Obviously that means I'm now probably going to need to replace my keeper at some point, but... It happens so rarely, I'd rather have the extra option on the bench, I think. So Bora Bora haven't really... I don't want to jinx it. I don't want them to you know, inspire them into a comeback, but they've not exactly 
Threaten. And Yannin's got another. There's his hat trick. Just over 20 minutes. Pandemonium in the stands. This might be us killing off Bora Bora's title chances, really. They've got enough games to come back. I think we've got was it, four more games after this. So there's 28 games in the season. So yeah, they've got four more after this to play some of the 12 points. But a lot of stuff has to go their way then. Interesting ball by McCormick. Oh, Yanin for another. McCormick doesn't get the assist, understandably. But he's getting in the right space, picking up the loose ball. Not sure what that was, but... But Yanin's been on fire. I'm going to keep him on to see if he can get the double hat trick. The stands. McCormick's got 7.7 .7 as well, so he's got an assist, playing well. Not, not bad. Kind of like the fact that with Spieling McCormick in the centre, we've got like a centre pairing of academy products. But Spieling, I think I mentioned in the last video, I'm starting to have my doubts about whether he's worth the effort. Well, Jared almost had that. Which should have scored that one as well. He timed his run in perfectly. So we're absolutely peppering the goal at the moment. Bora Boron. So with another 12 points. Could get 50. But they need a lot of other teams to drop a lot of points. I'm not sure it's entirely possible. Yeah, keep it going. I think Spearling will come off at Andre in a little bit. Happened. I think Tamangara managed to injure a player in um, training. The big, the big striker. I think he managed to injure himself as well, but he took out another player for a few days. Sorry, I just zoned out because my wife had sent me a link. Um, cause I'm a professional like that. Uh, sent me a link to um, a laptop. I don't know if that means she wants it or she wants me to have it. Uh, she recently got a new laptop because her old one. Um, but issues. I'll mention more about that in the next match. Uh, so I think it might be she's suggesting I should have a laptop, which I'm I'm all right with. Because um, at the moment I'm kind of chained to my desk computer for playing FM. I do have another device that I can stream to, but the streaming doesn't work particularly well. I think it's something to do with the laptop itself, because it's um, from a, from an organisation. It's not my own laptop. So it, something about it, I think, something to do with one of the VPNs that it has on it, or the proxy, um, means it doesn't stream particularly well. So there we have it, 5-0. I zoned out at the end because it was so comfortable. Yanin did not get his double hat trick. But still, that's all right. We'll come back for the next match against Manue in a sec. What did I say? Far from pleased. Yeah, it was bad. Um, this is why you've got to pay it happy. Okay, uh, passionately P, okay. No one can fix that. That was bad. Okay. Okay, I'll come back for the next match. Well, I hope they have not, you know, massively damaged morale. Okay, so we're back for the match against Manue. Um, 
not a huge amount has happened in between, just lots of media stuff about the title race and records, points and stuff like that. So if we can get more than 57 points this season, which technically we can, then we'll have broken our record points haul um, in the Premiership. And if we score two more goals, we'll have beaten our record um, goal scored, which is all right. Uh, I've been looking around at a few players as well, because uh, I noticed a few of our contracts are running down. Um, so I noticed that one of our wingers, Douglas, his contract coming to an end, and he's, he's all right. Coming and played a bit part. I thought maybe if I got rid of him, I could bring someone in. Um, and I'll show you maybe the end of the match I was thinking of. Um, for extra support on the left. But we're against Manuwe, who are near the bottom of the table. We're still top currently. Um, I've kept the team, the starting 11, exactly the same as last match, where we won 5-0. Uh, the only difference is on the bench, we've got Tamangara for O'Keefe, because O'Keefe took a knock. And that's about it, really. I think I mentioned in the last match, because it's actually been about 10-15 minutes between the last match and this match, it took to actually get to this point, because of all the news and stuff. Um, I think in the last match, I just feel like I got distracted, because my wife sent me a link to a laptop. Um, and it was indeed to suggest that I could get that laptop. Uh, but I've unfortunately raised the practical point of... How are we going to pay for that laptop? Um, and now that doesn't seem to be going ahead anymore, which is a bit, a bit disappointing. But hopefully in the future I can get a new laptop and actually speed stuff up so I can do more, almost. I can do more blogging, for example. I can do more picture editing, more video processing, stuff like that on the move. It's class by them. It also means I can play in between recordings so it will speed up seasons potentially but if I don't, I don't I'm, I'm going at a reasonable pace it is it, as it is that's fine with me so we've not been in this match as much as I'd hope considering how far down the table they are Tell that was coming. Jordan Naren as well, former player, because his second goal of the season against this former club. I don't want to see that again. The other Naren, Naren Don, has still not been picked up by a team. So match that's wise. It's not terrible, but we've not actually seen any highlights that are any good. Let's shout at them. So obviously that last team talk didn't go particularly well, so maybe this one will have an effect. It seemed like it had an effect. Go, on, go along, one of you. Just hoof it. Jared's through. Fortunate. Long ball by server. And again, quite there. Both being quite greedy with those two chances. Mm. Let's get rid of Spearling. Fresh legs of Andre. Nice a rocket from Yanin for his 25th of the season. We're back in it. I didn't think we deserved to be losing, so it's fine. Keeps us two points clear still. That's <laughs> a soft penalty. I know he looked like he went down, but he went down. There we go, wait with another penalty. There was a penalty he scored against Pepita, and there was a penalty he missed against Pepita. So he would have been on 10 score, and I'm pretty sure they're almost all from free kicks and penalties. Cormac's getting tired. Bring a weaver. Don't want to burn McCormick out too early. 
Also, I need to keep Weaver's match sharpness up because I don't think McCormick can play in the OCL. I don't think he's um, registered for it. I don't think the OCL is like uh, the European Champions League where you can play under 21 players regardless of registering. I think there is actually like a 30-man um, squad and if you're not in it, you're just not in it regardless. If we can hold on. And where it's going. Of course he is. So, pawns on for Gerard. Let's go cautious. So currently four points ahead, if we can keep hold of this. It's a reasonable cushion. I didn't think that's the way around it was meant to be. I thought we'd given away a penalty then. It's all over the coconut shack. And that's another win. Not bad. So we'll probably end the episode after this match. I'll just show you the player I'm thinking of getting. Um, Quentin Beauvalet, who is in the teacher national side, but he's not playing. So, uh, well, he's, he's not got a club. He's on a free, there's a couple like that. So I thought he might be good to come in, because if Douglas is going, then I've just got Dalloway and Richards. And Richards' attributes don't look great, but perform as well. And Dalloway's attributes look great, but doesn't always perform well. So I thought throwing him in as well might be good. He wants about £400. I'm thinking maybe I just spend it and get him in, because he's rated really highly. He's rated more highly than my other kind of AMLs and midfielders, or wingers just generally. He used to play for, he's from Chance, he used to play for Peter, so he's probably reasonably high. Potentially he's got some good, good ratings, so we might bring him in. There were a few other players for TT Sites we're thinking of, so Emmerich de Freitas would talk to us. So I've been chasing him for ages. Now we've got McCormick, he finally wants to talk to us. Uh, but he wanted like £620, and I can't actually afford that, and I wouldn't pay it. Giles Riviera didn't try because I think we're okay on the right for the moment, but he was tempting. Zoro Osotieri Jacquet, or Jacket, who looks good, but we've got plenty of players in that position, so we're going to get him. So maybe that winger we might try and bring in um, as a potential uh, option. Uh, but we'll end there for the episode. Thanks very much for watching. We'll come back for the double header against Taha and Taha Ursial and in the league. Thanks very much for watching.